My name is Matthew Johnston and I'm the project manager for Inspirational Volunteer Journeys for the Sweet Pepper Project 2015 in St. Vincent and the Grenadines. So why did you choose to do this program, this volunteering with IVJ and EVS? I wanted to challenge myself and I wanted to see more about agriculture because it's something that I don't really have the opportunity to do back home as I live in a very big city. And IVJ sounded and looked like a good organization to do that went. So here I am. So basically the reason why I came out here is because I wanted to work with young people and learn about agriculture in more depth because I didn't really understand agriculture as I do now. Um, I always wanted to, I had this romantic idea that one day I would move to Jamaica and set up my own farm, a family farm. And in order for me to even think about making any plans to do that, I'd have to get some first-hand experience. So that's what this is all about. I've been tilling the land and we didn't expect it to be so, the growth to be so rapid. But as you can see, everything's grown really quickly, especially the corn, the cucumbers and the, the squash. have got really big. The corn hasn't actually, started to fruit but the plants are really tall so that's been a good measure of um, anyone who's looking to get into agriculture in the Caribbean especially you know it's it's quick you will reap your benefits quickly. I've learnt a lot since I've been here for the past two months um, we only have a month left and we've well pretty much accomplished everything that we set out to accomplish in terms of the practical side which I've been like very much involved in um, just doing the trails and the actual planting vegetables and things like that. It's been an experience, I've learnt a lot. I've learnt about agriculture through this whole non-formal education kind of um, approach and it's been good because I've been learning by doing and um, that's always the best way. It's a developing country and it's like the land it's quite fertile for anyone 
who's serious and wants to help people to come and help develop it in the right way. So it's good, it's really good. Um, and St. Vincent as an island, as a place, is, is a very beautiful place as you can see. If you take a little look around. Um, and the people here are really happy. The rum's really cheap and the women are beautiful. So yeah, I'd recommend anyone to come and do the same project if the opportunity ever arises. I've enjoyed it, like I've enjoyed it a lot more than I thought I would, even though I do like to be in nature, I'm a nature boy. I like to be out, outside if I can possibly, but yeah, I've enjoyed it. It's coming near to the end of our stay. And yeah, I'm grateful for coming here and having the opportunity so far still. Yeah. How are they doing, Michelle? They're coming up really nicely. Look, a month later, boom, we've got flowers popping out. Boom, boom, boom. Wow. <laughs> Cucumber's flowering now, so... Um, <laughs> uh, these are the squash gardens. Come inside. This is a, this is a squash actually turning into a squash. Tomatoes. These are tomatoes. I planted them into the ground slightly, not too much. They're like this this tall, and it's been about two or three weeks. Peppers. Pepper seedlings. It looks like we might have added the intruder again. Yep, you look closely there are footprints. Either that or a very small man with strange feet. Most likely going to be a goat. These, Matt. Lettuce. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so we planted these just like the tomatoes, got some ceilings, put them in the ground. I started off with the wire that we put all the way around. All the way around right? uh, but it wasn't enough. So the cows either didn't see it or they didn't care. And they just used to just, just walk through it. Um, so we got some barbed wire quite recently. And this, yeah, we've not really had anything on it. Maybe, a, I think there might have been a few goats. But the cows now have seen them, I've seen them, they're scared. Right then, talk us through where we are. Um, this is the corn bed. And I'm shocked how tall um, the trees have grown. It's kind of crazy. Three months at the start of this project, we thought we was going to leave and not see anything. That was like the whole drama and everyone was getting all shaky. Like, oh, like. And then that's when everyone's kind of character kind of showed because people were like, oh, you know what I mean? What's going to happen? <laughs> but now, it looks good, man. Thank you. 